The challenge of mental illnesses among learners and teachers in schools took center stage on the second day of the four-day teachers' conference held in Nairobi. During the meeting, participants expressed concerns over the increase in cases of mental illnesses, calling for concerted efforts to find ways of equipping teachers and students on stress management, as well as other, to offer other support and counseling services. This, the need to ensure the need to ensure a smooth transition from the A44 system to competence-based curriculum was also a subject of discussion during the meeting. Saturday morning in Nairobi, 80 teachers from 80 schools convened for the second day of the four-day teachers' conference organized by the Kenya Education Fund. It's here that concerns on the state of mental health in schools took center stage amid calls to equip teachers with skills to deal with the emerging challenge of mental illnesses. Mental health is a challenge and uh, if you're not keen, there are those who are suffering without knowing that they, are, they have that mental health problem. And it's not only to the students in our schools, even the teachers themselves. Most people don't realize that maybe you have that problem and maybe they, you, your perception is, is the, on the extreme side of maybe Mwendawazimu. The conference further seeks to demystify the uncertainty surrounding the ongoing transition from the 844 system to the competency-based curriculum. Not sure of how the transition or if we'll get more students. I'm sure we are still waiting to see how the, the CBC will chip in. CBC is something that is, uh, is actually doable, is good. It's just a matter of changing our, our, our perspective towards it. Participants are trained on mental health and stress management, supportive conversations and basic counseling techniques, building blocks of mentoring, attributes of a great mentor, among other topics. Number one, we are focusing on career uh, choice. Uh, so that we can be able to shape their career aspirations, their leadership aspirations, and most importantly, uh, th 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 their well-being. The Kenya Education Fund is a non-governmental organization that offers full scholarships for high school and the first-year university students for children from poor backgrounds. Currently we have 620 students actively in different high schools, and over time we've been able to support more than 4,500. The conference ends on Monday. Tilio Marco for Legends Edition.